Greetings and thank you for allowing us to journey with you through, throughout this entire week. Uh, each day as we spend time together. This week we focused on marriage preparation and just brought out a few insights from the Word of God concerning how we can ready ourselves for marriage. And it also comes as a reminder for those of us who are married that this is what we are in. And God who designed marriage will empower us by His Spirit and through the instruction of His Word to help us live it out. As we wrap up this week, we want to just bring our attention to the fact that as you prepare for marriage, you have to be ready to be loved. That means be ready to receive love. Yesterday, we emphasized the fact that we must be ready to love, that is to express love. But we also must be ready to be loved. Now, that sounds strange, but it is important. Some of us don't know how to receive love. Some of us don't know what it means to be loved. Perhaps we grew up in an environment, but love wasn't expressed. The expression of love could be a strange language, a foreign language, or a language completely unknown to us because it wasn't there in the environment in which we grew up. So we don't know what it means to receive love or how to be loved. And so if you are preparing for marriage, this is one of those things where you learn to receive. You learn how to be loved, how to receive love. That means when your spouse is expressing love, you receive it as what it really is. Sometimes people misinterpret every expression of love. They misinterpret it as, a, as the other person intending to control, manipulate, do it with wrong intentions, doing it, doing it in order to gain something back, or doing it, in sincere, doing it uh, without sincerity, and so on. Meaning they are not ready to be loved, and therefore every expression of their spouse is misinterpreted, is misunderstood, and therefore it leaves the spouse very frustrated and unfulfilled. Remember what we read in Ephesians 5.25, Husbands, love your wives, which means the other person should be ready to be loved. And one of the ways in which we express our receiving of love is submission. It tells us in Ephesians 5.21 that we are all to be submitted to one another in the fear of the Lord. And as husbands and wives, everyone, we're walking in submission. That means we are surrendering, yielding, because we are receiving the love that is being given to us. And submission, surrender, and yielding is actually putting ourselves in a place of vulnerability in response to the love that's being shown to us. We say yes, we surrender, we yield. But when somebody doesn't know how to be loved, they are hard, they are un unyielding, they are very resistant. That's an expression that they don't know how to receive love. So ready, be ready to be loved. May the Lord give us grace and wisdom to learn how to be loved. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for all that your scriptures teach us concerning life, living, and even concerning marriage. Help us to receive, help us to live, and walk in truth. Empowered by your Spirit, in Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.